hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's ninth avenue in class again today how have you been we are going to look at this tool the dview tool lawyer the dview twist tool you know um according to this blog post they said in civil or engineering discipline or let's sorry in civil or solving discipline not all projects are aligned in the real world the way we want to view them on paper you know in terms of projecting them on paper typically in model space not is always in the y direction that's up right good in our cartesian so a road bearing um, 32 degrees will look like this this is ideal because when you try to draw the cartesian your 0 to 180 is from here right good then your 270 to 90 is like this right good so you know that 30 is in between 0 and 90 so 32 can perfectly fit in here right so this is actually the bearing of the road however when we want to present it on paper for printing or maybe for visualization or any other situation we don't mostly have it aligned like this we have it aligned and horizontally right but when we want to present this on paper we want to plot the drawing to look like this which is horizontal right good so in order to get um from figure one to figure two that means in order to get this our 32 degrees in a way that it appears as though it's on 90 degrees or sorry it's on 180 degrees that's what we want to show to you using that one to give you two in order to get from figure one to figure two we somehow have to twist the drawing there are essentially three ways that we can do this the subtext um, not rotation we have the dv twist and then we also have what the ucs right which stands for user coordinate system now also realize that twist is very important in relation to annotation before annotation before annotating rather before annotating the roadway in figure one the user had to know how to orient the text before, based on the desired twist. Choosing the method of rotation should therefore take into account the ease with which the text what can be um, oriented. Now we are going to look at all of these, and then they talked about how each of those three can be used. That's the um, soft text, not rotation, the DV test, and what the UCS right good. Now, what we are going to use is the UCS because coming down to the conclusion, we have seen that according to the, the host, believe that um, the DV twist is the best method to use. Actually, that's um, the opinion I also go with. The disadvantages of using the subdex node rotation or UCS rotation far out weigh any advantage of those other two and disadvantage of the word DV twist accuracy of data is most important and both ucs are not can have a negative impact on accuracy right good so we are now going to show you how you can use this word dv twist right good so we are on autocad now and basically you need to bring in your data so the first thing is what you set your unit possibly Good. So our units have been set right. The next thing is for us to locate where the point is. So we've actually arranged it in a folder and we are going to access it now. Good. So we call the term data under the DV folder. So let's open that data. All right. This is data we want to plot. So let's just um, try to highlight and um, copy. All right. Back to card. Let's use the point tool for this particular exercise and then let's try to paste everything and see at once. Escape, zoom extent, right? Good. So basically this is how the, the whole point went. Are we together? Let's try to change it to red and see how it goes. Good. So this is how the whole point went let's change the format 
So now, you know, when you are actually plotting, as we saw on the blog post there, you need to join the lines, right? Good. When you have joined the lines and you've done your annotations and the rest of that, then you can decide to do it where it is maybe on 3D or any other software, even though you want to use it as a server. So we are not going to spend time to join the lines. We just need to show you how to twist. So let's say you've joined the lines. Um, you have your lines, the, the four lines or the three lines or the two lines or as many lines as possible and you want to twist it. So the tool you are going to use is what DV. So you can just type DV, enter. Now you can see select object, right? Good. So for us to select object, you can just decide to select all the objects we have on our screen, right? Good. Enter. Now it's asking us what do we want to do with the camera target distance point pan zoom twist we want to twist right because remember we said give you twist so we type tw which is a short form for twist and we say enter now we can twist it right good so let's say you already have a you have a bearing you want to twist it by let's say you want to twist it by um, 25 so let's say we have 25 so you just hit enter it will automatically be what be twisted by 25 degrees, right? Good. So let's say you don't want to twist it by 25 degrees. Let's say you have what um, we have um, DV. Let's do this again and then enter. Good. Let's say you don't want to define the, you don't know the angle you want to twist by and you want to do it manually. So you can just be turning it as it is. Remember, your annotations should be there because if you've not done your annotations, it's very difficult, or it will be quite difficult, not too difficult anyway. It will be quite difficult for you to have the right uh, orientation because of the twist, right? So when you've done your annotations, when you've put everything on your frame, or maybe your yeah, on your frame or your map sheets, and when you know you're done, and all you want to do is this. Sometimes you can have your frame separated somewhere, designed, then you move it to the workspace where you want to twist because when you want to twist, almost everything on your work environment on this particular space will be affected to some extent, right? So you can decide to work on your frame, bring it down here, and then join, like, use that same frame and your alignment, which is maybe your corridor or your route or whatever the case is. And twist them together, right? Good. So if you don't want to, maybe if you uh, your scope doesn't cover that, I just have your alignment to twist so that it can form that um, is it 90 degrees or sorry, that's 180 degrees horizontal 180 degrees. You can just be turning it manually until you see that what it is on that um, 180 degree plane, and you can decide to what you can decide to stop. So the literature, or should we call it literature, the blog post to the explanation of how this um, DV works, this DV twist works, is actually the link to that um, blog post is on the description section of this particular video. So you can just um, check it out so that you can see the advantages and disadvantages as that is explained and how the author or maybe whoever wrote it or how the author decided to uh, make a preference which we are also buying into that word bias. So you can now see that this is fairly what horizontal, yeah, it's fairly horizontal compared to that um, 32 degrees as maybe it would have been because the orientation of this particular um, alignment was around that 0 to 90. So let's still assume that it's 32, right? Good. So this is how you use that um, DV twist. Good. So when you're done, you can see what your alignment um, is actually fairly horizontal depending on how you have designed your sheet. You know, sometimes you can decide to cut it at a particular shinage. It might not be maybe, maybe how long is this? this should be about. I can't recall. But maybe if you want to be putting, maybe if you want to have your plants at maybe one, one kilometer or maybe two kilometers or whatever it is, will be at every turn. Yeah, will be at every curve or 
know, depending on your prerogative, right? Good. So the idea is that this is how you do, or this is how you carry out um, the twisting, which, which was what explained there. So instead of using the UCS, um, according to this blog post, which we also agree with, it's preferable that um, you use what the DV twist as it's what the best method to use. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we provided solution to this uh, particular solving problem. And if you have any question, comment, suggestion, you can leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible. You can um, subscribe to the channel if you're coming to the channel for the first time. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. We are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time. Bye.